Designers Cafe. So wow, how do we fix that? So if we go to our vertices mode, we can select these vertices, and something I like to do is, with all points selected, change your transform tool to a scale, and we'll just scale by one axis. You might need to do this a few times, just to get it perfectly lined up, and then we'll move it into place. Do the same thing for the other side. And this ensures that all points are aligned in this axis. Okay. So now that we have these slices in place, we can go ahead and create some additional slices. Just bring it. Just a few more. see that because we went ahead and fleshed out the alignment of those points with the scale transform that getting these additional cuts is a lot faster because we don't allow the program to try to auto calculate the center for us anymore. So as you can see we've gone ahead and basically cut out to where we'll go ahead and extrude our walls for these two front rooms and upon doing that we'll create a sort of hallway for the entrance that will lead to a back hallway. But I did say that these two front rooms would be accessible by this main hallway and the back hallway. So let's go ahead and start to prepare for cutting out those doorways. So we can go ahead and select the bottom of where this doorway would be on this back hallway and make two cuts. And we'll do the same thing for the top. And we're just kind of rough cutting, we're not really worried about alignment yet. Do the same thing for this side. Obviously, we'll do the same for this side. So before we start extruding these walls, um, again, let's let's get all these new cuts aligned. So we can take from our front view by hitting F these cuts that we've made right here. And again, if at any point you, you feel like you're, you're making a wrong selection, you might be selecting some additional faces behind it, you can make your selection in the front, left, or top view, and then come back to perspective view by hitting P, and then hitting Z to zoom in on it, and just kind of see to make sure that, yep, that's indeed what we want. So hitting F and then Z again, um, and making sure that we have our transform set to scale, we can scale this by the X axis. Just to ensure that our top slice and bottom slice are perfectly aligned, and we'll do this to both sides. you now and we'll see these cuts here actually let's go to top view just to get rid of the confusion to make sure that we are selecting the right ones so it looks like these guys are in some serious need of scaling So now with everything kind of scaled correctly, let's go ahead and start selecting the polygons for the area that we would like to extrude. So now that we're working on the interior parts of the interior level, let's go ahead and start kind of hiding these faces that we really don't need, that are kind of going to be in our way. So by selecting them and going down to the edit geometry rollout, we can hit hide selected again and we're left with just what we need to work with. So we'll select these guys. Okay. And 
and we'll extrude. Before we start moving the ex new extrude up, let's look at the surrounding area that we'll be extruding over. So if we move this extrude up, you'll see that these back faces here are going to now be covered up with this new extrude. And that's going to create some sort of Z fighting effect. And it will prevent us from actually welding these new extrudes to the ceiling. So to prevent that, I'm just going to select them. And we'll hit delete. And we're also going to do the same thing for our ceiling parts as well. Because as our new extrude comes to the ceiling, this will allow us to weld it to the um, cutout parts of the main ceiling mesh. Notice I didn't select the archways of the entrances because we'll still need those to be in place. They're actually the inverted of what I actually extruded down on the floor. So we'll come into the floor extrudes that we just performed again. Now we can move this up. So with that moved into place, we can go ahead and hit delete to get rid of the top parts of our new extrude. And we'll go into a front view again by hitting F, going to vertice and selecting the top vertices of the ceiling, making sure not to select the tops of the door frame. And we'll go to a scale and scale this all by the y-axis. So with that done, let's go ahead and just select all these vertices. selected, let's go back to polygon mode, unhide all the faces, and turn off the transparent mode, just to kind of see how everything's going to fit together. So we'll go to our weld tool, and pull this up, and you'll see before we actually perform a weld, we have 146 vertices selected, and after we have 122. So obviously there were some welding points that needed to happen between the main portion of the ceiling and the new extrude points that we created. And that could only have happened because we deleted the inverted parts of the ceiling and then moved the extrude in place of those deleted parts. So we'll click apply. Okay. So now we can do some slice cleanup. So we can probably select these. So with our extra slices removed and their unneeded vertices deleted, we can pretty much say that the, the walls for this level are, are pretty much completed. What we can start to think about now is the additional levels um, to the rest of this building uh, and how each floor will be connected and where they'll be connected. So to start doing that, let's go ahead and again hide all of our exterior walls. And let's just take a look at the available real estate we have from a top view. So here's our front entrance, the main hall, our two front rooms that are accessible from the main hall and the back hall. Now we could add a staircase that goes from one level to the next level in either one of these rooms, but having to choose which room, I tend to dislike that. It tends to be more biased on one side of the building as far as having to climb up it. It doesn't feel natural if you put it in one side of these rooms or the other. So. I would suggest maybe we put a staircase in the back hall. In fact, I would suggest that maybe we put one right here. Just for the time being, we're going to hide the, the ceilings of this floor. So we can kind of get a better picture of what we're working with right here. 